which again i've almost finished before the stream even started hi there i'm jim hodson uh this is the scene shop I'm just going to turn the music down a little bit uh this community is called the scene shop and uh oh voodoo 463 is here nice to have you pal um my name is jim hodson if i haven't said that already uh, in a moment, we're going to go to the window uh, where we do all the writing. It looks like this. Uh, but for the moment, I just want to say um, quickly, uh, it can be tough in uh, moments like these when it seems like everything is happening. Uh, just a lot of terrible things are happening. And it's like uh, I feel sort of bound up. Like, do I... Do I really want to write jokes when so many unfunny things uh, are happening? But at the same time, I don't know how to deal with um, the world without uh, writing about it because I'm a writer and that's what I do. Um, I Frankly, I don't know what to do but continue. But at the same time, this particular, uh, uh, the issues that we're particularly facing right now are not ones about which... <laughs> uh, I really need to talk. It, it needs to be sort of uh, other voices uh, that need to be heard, uh, not mine in particular. So at, at the same, at, on the one hand, I, I I need to write comedy. That's what I do. But at the same time, this one isn't about me, and I'm not going to try to make it. I don't want to try to make it about me. So, but at the same time, this is what I do. So, we're just going to write jokes, uh, and we're going to uh, listen to our hearts and try to be uh, the good people. We're always trying to be. Uh, anyway, try to be sensitive and caring about one another, as we always would, uh, regardless of circumstance. Uh, so let's try to enjoy. Let's try to be together and have a little bit of fun. Um, and just be mindful that uh, uh, we're, I don't know, what can you do but be mindful if it's, uh, it's, it's on your mind all the time. Well, in lighter news, uh, I have added a doodad. Uh, to the stream. Uh, not only will your chats appear like so, but if you, uh, if, if new people follow us or, uh, 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 or do bits or whatever like that, which I don't really fully understand, but if they do, a little thing is going to appear uh, next to my face. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, thank you also to the people who support us, the scene shop on, uh, Patreon. Um, I'm going to, uh, thank them each personally by name, uh, because that's an important gesture to me, but, um, soon they'll also, their names will appear, uh, automatically on stream as, as long as all the doodads are working together as they should. But anyway, thank you so much, Dan Simard, Robert Gross, Tracy Stark. Just jumped on board with us. Thank you, Tracy. I think she's busy today and possibly not able to write jokes, but thank you so much to her. JP LaRue, Monica Hall, and Chad McNaughton. Um, we are moving toward a point where we can actually where we can actually pay for some of the creative stuff that we do, like uh, Bad Gladiator and our upcoming podcast, uh, Slapback. If you are somebody who enjoys writing sketch, do come by the chat and get in touch with uh, Talanos or just join the Slapback channel in the Discord and you can find out how to submit sketches. We previously closed uh, Slapback for sketches, but that was before uh, coronavirus happened. So it we've got a whole bunch of new people in the community now and we want to be able to uh, reach out to those people and reflect their voices uh, in that show, which is going to start production uh, pretty soon. And thanks to our patrons and people who are subscribers here on Twitch, um, we'll be able to uh, pay the podcast hosting bill, uh, if nothing else. Uh, and then, you know, website hosting bills and all that kind of thing. So that's what your support is supporting. So thank you. Much appreciated to those patrons and all other folks. Now, let's write some jokes. Um, I took a stab this morning at trying to write... Um, I mean, uh, here's something. Uh, let me start over. Um, often when I'm talking about how to write jokes, what I tell people is that I, I often start with something that makes me mad. And, uh, and then I try to turn it into something funny because if it's making me mad, then I know it, it affects me uh, emotionally. 
somehow. And if it's effective to me, if it's affecting me emotionally, then there's something, there's gotta be something to it. I mean, uh, but the trouble is now that I'm too mad, <laughs> too mad. So I did write some jokes this morning. I posted them in the five daily joke channel, uh, on, uh, the discord, but if you read them, you'll see that I was not able to keep the, my sort of, uh, current political thoughts out of the sound of those uh, jokes. So what are you going to do? I mean, uh, you know, if you're, it's all, it's all fine and well to say, I'm only going to write uh, hilarious jokes about uh, silly things. But if you're standing in the street when 9-11 happens, how do you not, if you're a writer, how do you not, you know, at least try to address that? Voodoo 463 says, uh, I was going to spend this stream roasting Trump, but then I decided against it. It takes a really long time to roast a pig. I don't know. It's not so bad. I will tell you that it does take a really long time to roast a pig. I went to a, uh, I mean, like 24 hours or something like that. But um, I went to a barbecue at a friend's house and they had just roasted a pig. And of course, I've, I've eaten, uh, you know, uh, pork before, but uh, they had it sort of splayed out on a table and everybody is like, is just sort of devouring this pig as it's splayed out. And it looked like a human. <laughs> it looked like a like a small human. That was pretty awful. Um, long story short, I ate that pig's eyeballs in front of everybody, and I enjoyed them. Uh, or was it the eyeballs? Maybe it was the... Well, never mind. Uh, let's write some jokes, damn it. Just going to look around the internet to see if I can find any sparks. Uh, I don't think there's anything to be ashamed of where that joke is concerned. Voodoo 463. Nothing to be ashamed of at all. Like normally I, um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, this isn't really a joke. It's kind of a, just a good luck with that. But I just saw this um, headline on uh, Not The Onion subreddit. Uh, Billionaire's wife claims that she can use the N-word because she knows Alicia Keys. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. And I really don't think you should try it. Just forget that you know that word probably would be the best thing to do. Um... Nude sunbather mistaken for dead body. That's, there's, might be something there. Nude sunbather. I mean, if people are mistaking your nude body for a corpse, I mean, uh, you know, my, I have, uh, you know, Irish slash English, uh, heritage so my skin is uh, translucent so I can identify their flies were way too open that doesn't make any sense but I still like it Peach Astrid I'm going for it I'm a winner I'm a buyer uh, something else new that we're going to do this stream uh, well done to you madam well done. Um, sorry, my hair is just bothering my face. I'm looking forward to getting a, a haircut, uh, but I don't I don't want to do it just yet. Uh, as you can see, it is it's very very long. Not quite long enough to easily go into a ponytail, but definitely long enough to tickle my ancient face and bother me. Um. That's really funny. Their flies were way too open. I mean, um, then there's a, there's a sort of all the attendant uh, dead people jokes, like, um, you know, uh, I guess something about a stiff one. You could say something about stick stiff one. Um, uh, you know, like, um, uh, 
if you otherwise resemble a corpse. I don't know. I personally don't give a crack. So this movie four sixty three. Eh, yeah, I think you're getting warmed up. I like that. Uh, probably the only time you should risk damage to your skin by sunbathing if you otherwise resemble a corpse. That's not. That sounds too. Uh, that doesn't sound really like a joke. That just sounds like something I would say in, in conversation because I'm a sparkling conversationalist and I talk often about uh, nude corpses. Um, what about like... Um, I was mistaken for a dead body once. But that's just how I do foreplay. Uh, I should say also something else that we're going to do this stream is we're going to do a, uh, we started this at the last stream. We did like, like a king of the stream type of a poll at the end. And we're going to do that again today. But the difference is that today the poll, the poll is going to appear on stream. So get ready for that. Um, you're probably going to poop your pants because it's going to be so, so, so exciting. Uh, let's see here. Nude sunbather mistaken for dead body. There was no other justification for being in a tanning salon. Yeah. There's a pretty big delta between the, uh, the loudness of some of these tracks on this uh, music thing. I could skip that one, I think. Oh, I can turn it down a little bit. I do listen to, I listen to ambient music while I'm writing. So I wanted to sort of, I wanted to be able to do that here. Okay. So since, um, Peach Astrid and, um, Voodoo463 have both submitted uh, jokes so far in the stream. They have added themselves to the eventual vote uh, at the end. And I will say um, that there are only five slots available. So if you want to be included, if you want to be in the running for being the best joke writer of the stream, you need to pitch jokes. Uh, let's see. Dead body mistaken for a nude sunbather. No punchline. Nude sunbather says Connor with Anna or Connor with Anna. Connor with an A. Sorry. I just realized that, uh, I know you, that you come by the, uh, the discord. My apologies, Connor. Uh, nude sunbather mistaken for dead body says this would never have happened if he was having one of his Hannah Montana dreams. Sonyana, I'm sorry to tell you, although you already know this. <laughs> that I'm not cool and I don't know who, what, what are Hannah Montana dreams like? Can you, can you, uh, can you fill me in? I apologize for not being in the know. Uh, Chad McNaughton says nude Sunday, they're mistaken for dead body elected governor. Yeah. If you went back in time a little bit, you could say, uh, that was just Chris Christie at the beach. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, uh, that particular scandal, but, uh, Chris Christie closed, a closed a New Jersey beach for some reason. Then he took his family there and enjoyed the empty beach by himself. And there were all these, there were drone shots of him. And he's, uh, he's not a small man. He is not a small man. Uh, let's see. Nude Sunday, they're missing for dead body. Meanwhile, I was mistaken for a leathery suitcase. Okay. I believe it was Miley Cyrus' character when she was quite young. Oh, I knew that much. I just didn't know what a uh, Hannah Montana dream is. I thought it might be like a particular sort of, um, uh, facet of the show that she has sort of really particular dreams. Uh, I'll tell you what though, say what you will about Miley Cyrus and her antics. I apologize, Sonyana, for not being, for not being in the know. I, I want to get it. Um, anyway, as I was saying, say what you will about Miley Cyrus and her antics, but, uh, Party in the USA, that's just a good pop song. You disagree if you like, you will only reveal yourself as a buffoon. Uh, let's see. I was mistaken for a leathery suitcase. Yeah. 
Nude sunbather mistaken for driftwood. Party goers quickly put person out after she woke up in bonfire. It's a bit rough. I like this one, Chad. Nude sunbather mistaken for dead body still hasn't texted me back. I am a buyer. Oops. A lot of letters in that name, Chad. All right, let me add some of these joke pictures to the poll. Sunyata. And uh, uh, so, all right, now we have five, but I like I, I, I like the thought of like uh, over the course of the uh, over the course of the stream. Uh, replacing people who fall silent. Let's see. Archaeologists believe she was from the lost city of Atlantis. That's possible. Nude Sunner. Not like the nude Moonbather, which was a dead body. <laughs> okay. Um... What do you, tell me what you think, guys? Uh, I feel like it adds to the stakes if we approach it like this. Um, and I think uh, uh, Voodoo four sixty three sort of did uh, approach it from this direction. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I was just going to say, I think it makes sense to approach it from the direction of the, the, the person saying the joke was the nude, uh, dead body. Uh, so maybe you go at it from another, like you change the setup. Uh, come on, fingers. <laughs> uh, Dan, I like that approach. Um, nude sunbather mistaken for dead body. The stench was horrendous. That's a really funny, uh, that's a really funny twist. Um, Uh, I tried nude sunbathing. People thought I was a dead body because of the smell. Uh, but because you said it first, I'm going to use your phrasing, Dan. Okay. Nude sunbather was recently mistaken for a dead body. What can I say? I forgot to hydrate that week. Yeah. Solid approach. Nude sunbather was thought to be dead until I woke up. Now my wife is just disappointed. <laughs> um, yeah. That's an interesting avenue. Or you could do like um, uh, my own clothes. I didn't get my clothes back because they were stuck in the probate process or something like that. I don't know that still. Forget I said that. Forget I suggested that would be a good avenue. I apologize. <laughs> um, we'll see. What if we think about another setup? How about this? A man has threatened to unleash riot control bees. Think about that one. Roll that one around in your brains. Uh, let's see. 
Nude Sun made a mistake for dead body. Turns out it was just Ed Gain with his beach towels. Wasn't that a uh wasn't that a serial killer? Newt Sunday there was thought to be dead until he was discovered to be from Florida. Then they were sure he was dead. Um, solid one. Uh, we need to patch these up. Sorry, Jed. Um, sorry, Dan. Something like that. <laughs> Here's a, a nude somebody mistaken for dead body. Told husband she wouldn't be seen dead in a shift dress, and she was right. Do you mean a shift dress like uh, like a nightshirt? Or do you mean a shift dress like that's the dress that she wears on her shift at work? Could be both, maybe. She works as somebody who professionally uh, is prepares for bed. That'd be a great job for me. I love getting ready for bed. Brushing those teeth. Take a little melatonin. Drink a little bit of Drink a little water. Out like a light. Man threatened to... Okay, we're... I just Google types addresses and picked one. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Uh, let's see. Man threatened to release riot control bees, then a protester threatened to unleash a spelling bee. <laughs> I don't think we use an apostrophe for to pluralize. Um, I think we can, we can get a better. But I like the spelling bee angle. Uh, I think you make the joke about conservatives and spelling bees, then you're then you got an angle there. I like to do the bare minimum and then things collapse from there. That's a pretty decent joke. I'm on board for that one. I don't think you meant that as a sub joke submission, but I'm on board for it. Um, let's see. Local man threatened to unleash riot control bees, not knowing that his wife had already released those riot control Ds. There were no survivors. <laughs> uh, what? Um, I guess, I, I, do you mean like uh, the internet suggested instead that he release his riot control double Ds? It's a boob joke. Chad explains. <laughs> that's where I thought, that's where I thought you were going. That is where I thought you were going. These bazingas. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we're all on board now. We're all on board for boob jokes, I think. Damn well better be. Let's see here. Hmm. is devastated to learn that they only respond to females. So like his bees revolted. Um, 
queen b yeah what if what if what about this something about like his bees taking the knees that was the bees knees his wife is allergic so it's a two in one <laughs> that's pretty funny they only go where the queen tells him Protesters now heading out in knee guards. Yeah. Gets arrested in a police sting. Um. I gotta tell you, Aaron. It's silly. But I'm on board for it. Because I'm a silly man. A silly, silly man. Um, whoa, something happened. Raw script writing. Thanks, pal. He hosted me. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Please excuse me. I'm a very, very old man. I don't understand how any of this happened, even though I set it all up. A man threatened to release riot control bees as protesters step up their honey bombing campaigns. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Um, uh oh, come on, fingers. I don't know, not so good. Let's see. Man threatened to unleash riot control bees. The protest became riot. Unfortunately, bees don't know the difference between protesters and rioters. Yeah. I like the idea of, uh, of bees, like being able to use like sort of attack bees. Um, are we allowed to post a joke even if it really sucks? Uh, it ends on me, Dan. <laughs> a new riot control breeze threatened to unionize if they don't get paid vacation time. Love it. Good one. I am on board for that one. Yeah. Peach Astrid explains that hosting is when another streamer streams another stream on their channel when they're not streaming. Oh, I see. So it's like, uh, it's like streamception. It's like, uh, when exhibit looks at the camera and says, I heard you like screens. So we put screens in your screens, right? Do you guys remember exhibit? Uh, man threatened to unleash riot control bees on protesters. They became violent. Reinvigorates net neutrality movement. Too soon. Just kidding. Um, let's move on to a new setup. Here we go. You guys are going to like this. Yeah, we're jamming with the music today, huh? Riot control team equipped with BB guns. Oh, Connor, you're better than that, buddy. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, I mean, no harm. Uh, let's see. Apparently a three man crew tried riot control murder hornets first. It was just a one man crew. Bees were a bunch more manageable. Yeah. What happened to murder hornets? They were going to be, did they just do all the murdering and then stop? Have they ceased murdering? Are they former murder hornets? Are they reformed hornets? 
Uh, let's see. Monkey's Escape. Um, what about like... Uh, They were nearly caught when they stopped to type the complete words of Shakespeare on a discarded blackberry. That seemed like a fairly abrupt end to that song. Uh, yeah. Let's see. At least that was Breitbart's headline. Yeah. Unemployed primates. Um... My, yeah, see. I'm thinking. This is the sound of me thinking. I apologize. I know it doesn't make it doesn't it's not me talking. Hmm. Okay. Monkeys escape. This is Aaron 1971. Monkeys escape with COVID-19 samples. Scientists they will quit giving the primates of top-level security from now on. Yeah. Uh, I think there's probably a flinging poo angle in there, as, let's be honest, friends, there always is. Uh, Aaron 1971 is still on a BlackBerry. Dude. I don't know, whatever works. I appreciate that. I um my wife has a, a, a giant phone. It's like the, the big Apple phone. It looks like a cookie sheet to me. And every time every time I have to use her phone for something, I'm like, oh, this phone's so big. I can't stand it. It's like I had a big one and it, it felt like a cookie sheet in my pocket. After attacking their lab assistant, Hal. <laughs> That's a great one. I like the uh, uh you know any Kubrick reference I'm on board for. Uh, maybe there's something in there about them eating a bat. I don't know. Just looking for another potential premise. Here we go. You guys are going to like this. Now, I want you to be careful with this one. Okay. <laughs> I can't get off this. This is Chad uh, McNaughton says, I can't get off this Monkey's Ocean Eleven heist idea, but I also can't figure anything out for it. I'm probably because the entire joke is the title. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, that's 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 amusing. I'm on board for it. Uh, Monkey leader Caesar claims to have cure to COVID-19 and world domination. Yeah. Monkeys escaped with COVID-19 samples, attacking their lab assistant in the process. I like that angle, Voodoo 463. I was going to try to make it into, uh, they were last seen, like, protesting at the Capitol with AR-15s and all that stupid stuff, but I don't think it's... I don't think that joke is clever enough to bear the subject matter.
Apparently their hair was getting a bit shaggy. Hmm. A new study insists that couples should wear masks during sex. Meet the author, my wife. Yeah, that's probably a better way to say it. Uh, researchers revealed to be monkeying around with COVID-19 samples. Test chimps shake head in disbelief. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, voodoo, good tag. Alright, that's the current punchline. Voodoo 463. Sorry, Chad. He topped you. He topped you. Topped you out on that one, Chad. Let's see here. New study shows that monkeys who stole COVID-19 samples should wear masks during sex. <laughs> uh, it's not, <laughs> that's a funny tag. How do you spell that? Yeah. La Biof. Monkeys steal samples of COVID-19 from North Korea. Kim Jong-un says that's bananas. <laughs> uh, we can do a callback to a previous week where it's like uh, um, North Korean monkeys... And then, like, the punchline is uh, Kim Jong-il teleports angrily. <laughs> he teleports in anger. Um, I mean, there's a joke in there that's something like... Um, There's probably something to add there. Like, uh, he's only teleported to the moon or something like that. Let's see. Well, that's not how you spell Kim Jong Un. Kim Gu. Uh, let's see. Couples should wear a face mask during sex. New study exists. My wife prefers I wear a paper bag. I don't mind wearing a face mask during sex, but it's not like there's anyone in the room with me. Um, how about like, uh, let's 
something like a, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a, uh, It's not like there's anyone in the room with me. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what the chat has to say, you lovable scamps. Uh, let's see. Research is outraged after COVID-19. Let me get all the way up here. Gorillas take nuclear launch codes to show superiority. That's funny. Uh, let's see. Researchers outraged after COVID-19 samples stolen by monkeys. Their microscopes had far better insurance payout. That's probably just true. Research shows couples should wear face masks during sex. Oral sex falls dramatically. Yeah. Couples should wear face masks during sex. New study insists, even if we're more than six feet apart. Yeah. Kim Jong-il is still mad about the information surrounding his health. That's the problem. If you don't read the paper, you're not informed. If you do, you're misinformed. Yeah. My wife doesn't mind that we have to wear masks during sex now. She really doesn't like my gorilla mask, though. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I thought that was going to... I thought you were going to do a, a variation on that ancient uh, my wife having sex joke, and it's like... Uh, uh, my wife doesn't mind that we have to wear masks during sex and neither does her boyfriend, you know, something like that. Or, you know, neither does the guy she's sleeping with. You only the only thing on my face is my girlfriend. Yeah. Um... Maybe that's too much, but something like that. Yeah, there's a there's an angle, Voodoo 463. Um My girlfriend doesn't mind if I wear a mask during sex. Why would she? She's a pillow. What do you think, chat? I ask you. Let's see. Kim Jong-il. Yeah. Uh, Couples should wear face masks during sex. New study from Japan insists. I like that, I, Dan. I like that. Um, I like that angle. What if it's just like um, in Japan? They're moving their blurriness from their privates to their face. I don't know. My hidden cam subscribers are pissed. Yeah. Uh, 
Hey, that's a good angle for Voodoo 463. Good thinking. Yeah. I was trying to think if there's any way to improve this joke, but I can't come up with anything, so I'm just going to copy it as it is. Why would I try to rewrite it when it's already good? You guys are getting stuck in a sex mask rut. It's time for a new premise. Here we go. Sex mask, new band name, yeah. If anybody wanted to be in a band, God knows I don't. But I only feel that way because of all the bands I've been in. Uh, I need protection for both heads. Yeah. Uh... uh maybe it's something like, uh, I got one with a better looking face. Um... Um, one in five with COVID could test negative. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about it. Let's see. Dan's got... Uh, Romanian cobbler keeps people apart with size 75 shoes. <laughs> it was originally designed for pervert clowns. <laughs> oh, Dan. I'm so pleased with that joke. Oh, Dan. You sneaky sausage. That is a fantastic joke. I love it. Two bits. Just love it to bits. I'm going to make it more of a sentence. Um, okay. Try this, gang. Uh, this link. You should be able to see. Uh, using that link, you should be able to see the document with the jokes in it in case you want to read back over any of the previous jokes. Uh, and also, we're getting ready soon, in just a moment or two, to launch the poll to see who will be the joke writer of the stream. Shaquille O'Neal still waiting on his custom 76s. Yeah. The biggest thing to come out of Romania. Uh, I'm not sure I get it. Voodoo 463. What's the matter with Moldova? Uh, 
I just thought of a punch for this, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. I mean, it's not worth, it's no, uh, why not try it? P. Chastrid likes it. What more do you need in life than, okay, everybody got it but me, apparently. You bastards. I will copy the tag. Overruled by my own chat. exaggerating how funny you thought that was but that's okay that's what we do for one another sometimes okay let's have a little poll shall we while i read these uh i am going to read over all of these jokes and while i'm doing that i want you all to vote for who will be the best joke writer of the stream and i'm going to give you three minutes to do that let me make sure it will appear. I think it will. This is the first time I've done this, so bear with me, gang. Let's see how this works. Uh, actually, let me make it five minutes so I have a little bit more time. All right. Who is the best joke writer of the stream? Poll started. You should be able to see it in chat, and you can see it on screen. You'll have to vote in chat, I think. Oops. Oh, boy. So, let me just read over these jokes. New sunbather mistaken for dead body. Their flies were way too open. By Peach Astrid. I was mistaken for a dead body once, but that's just how I do foreplay. They only thought he was dead. Turns out he was from Florida. Then they were sure he was dead. That was Voodoo 463. Solid joke. Man threatened to unleash riot control bees on protesters, but was arrested in a police sting. Aaron, 1971. The bees have threatened to unionize if they don't get paid vacation time each whole month. Uh, I like to do the bare minimum and then let things collapse from there. Peach Astrid. I don't think that she actually intended that to be a joke, but I thought it was funny. Because it is. Uh, monkeys escape with COVID-19 samples after attacking lab assistant. They just wanted a banana and a haircut. Who put that down? I think that might have been Dan. I'm just looking back through the chat to see who that was. Maybe it was Voodoo 463. Yeah, it was Voodoo 463. My bad. They were nearly caught when they stopped to type the complete works of Shakespeare on a discarded Blackberry. Couples should wear face masks during sex, a new study insists. My wife prefers I wear a paper bag, Voodoo 463. It's not Corona related. She just likes to pretend I'm Shia LaBeouf. Who said that? I'm lax in my uh, quoting duties saying who said these things. Mm. 
not sure who Shay LaBeouf said. Also, Voodoo. Okay. I believe you. Uh, I don't mind wearing a face mask during sex, but it seems like overkill. It's not like there's anyone in the room with me. My girlfriend doesn't mind if I wear a mask during sex. Why would she? She's a pillow. Um, Kim Jong-il is still mad about the disinformation surrounding his health. This week, he, he's had some of his angriest teleports ever reported. I don't love that it's teleports and reported. I just don't love the echo of that uh, particular syllable. Uh... Uh, I wrote that teleport joke. Couples should wear face masks during sex. New study from Japan insists you can even use the same edible vending machine panties. Why isn't this attributed? Damn it. That was Voodoo 463 also. The man was on fire today and his votes are reflecting it i think a romanian cobbler is keeping people apart with size 75 shoes they were originally designed for pervert clowns i love that joke previously the biggest thing to come out of romania was moldova and finally u.s runner plans aims to smash yeah the world's fastest mile wearing blue jeans they also tried in quarter race, but after only 10 feet the athlete burst into flame all right. 15 people on the stream help decide the winner. Yeah. Uh, we're getting some uptake. We're getting some votes happening. Probably about half of the people on the stream have voted, which I appreciate. And uh, I don't know how much time it has left, but I'm sure. I think the results are sort of uh, speaking for themselves here. Everybody's getting votes. Uh, well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me while we wait for the poll to finish. As you can, well, you can see the results right there on screen, can't you? Um, great work today, everybody. Uh, Voodoo463 was saying that he might not uh, come today because because he's feeling upset by uh, sort of the news, as are we all, I think. Um, and then he was hilarious. Had a lot of great jokes today, so. Just goes to show you. Uh, thank you so much, Chad, for joining us. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, thank you again to our patrons, to our subscribers on Twitch. Um, Voodoo463, joke writer of the stream. It is official. Well done to you, sir. Um, do join us on the Discord. We do this all the time. We talk about comedy writing and uh, humor stuff just all the time. And we're also friends. And we talk to one another and enjoy each other. Um, you can check out our website, sceneshop.us. Please check out my website, readmyfuckingbooks.com. Please purchase a book or five. Read it with your eyeballs, or you can even listen to my books with your earballs on Audible, if you'd like to do that instead. Uh, Friday night, I am launching my new um, comedy show from right here in this very room. I am going to do a show called The Bayou Tapestry. It's going to be a humorous look at the events of the Norman invasion in 1066. I would love it if you would buy a ticket and watch it. Uh, you can find those at 1066.eventbrite.com. And uh, there's also a link on my website at readmyfuckingbooks.com. Uh, I'm thinking of adding a... Yeah, great callback, P. Chester. Thanks for that. I do eat eyeballs often because I am the crow from uh, the uh, Terry Pratchett's Hogfather. I think that's the right one. Uh, anyway, yeah, watch that. Do those things. Uh, write your jokes. Friday is at the same time at 3 o'clock. We will have our Sketch Desk stream. Probably our most popular stream is the Sketch Desk stream. We'd love to have you for that. And then on Monday, we'll do the Death at the HOA stream again. Um, I wonder if... I don't know if Dan and Robert are intending to have the happy hour again this week, but let's assume that they are, and I'll tell you about it during the stream on Friday. Um, but uh, there's also the Saturday um, stand-up, the scene, 
Voodoo Force East 3 is just reminding me. Uh, you can find information about that in the Discord as well. If you'd like to do a little bit of stand-up with us on the Discord, do. We got a lot of funny people and uh, saying jokes to one another and having a laugh and enjoying their Saturday. So come and check that out. Anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate everything. I appreciate your support. Again, I'm Jim Hodson. We are The Scene Shop. This has been Multilog, and I will see you next time. Song is pretty groovy, so I'm going to turn up a little bit. Okay. Take care, everybody. See you later. Love you.